What's up everybody? Uh, there's been a few changes since the last time I had anything filmed here. Uh, as you can see, we've had some spring green up. Um, mowed lawn a few times. Uh, life came at me fast. Work got crazy busy. And we had a ton of rain here. I would, we've had, uh, had about eight inches of rain in the last four weeks. So between the rain and work and busy, schedule following kids sports around uh, just haven't had time um, but what we're gonna do is try and finish out this pile of popple uh, actually was able to sell a face cord of wood this morning or a third of a cord of wood just having to answer a Facebook question if somebody had any dry wood and I made my first sale so we are about one third done paying off that original three hundred dollars um, so that's awesome but that's got me motivated to get back after it and we're gonna go pick up the tractor again hopefully tomorrow harvest some more of that maple out of the neighbor's property but right now I'm gonna get the splitter started up and start splitting some of this pile it's a good sign first pull let's reset up All right, let's get her cranked up.
hopefully this sound is coming through all right. I don't know, we'll see in editing, but my wife is over there on the tiller, so there's a little bit of extra noise, but I actually have everything split up uh, from where I can actually grab with a little bit of efficiency. So I'm gonna go grab the Neotech and uh, we'll get some more of this cut up. I know a few people have been asking about the saw and it is a beast. I finally kind of got it broke in where I feel like I could tune it up a little bit. We're running 40 to one oil and I adjusted the carb a little bit and it's pumping on a lot higher RPM now and I actually absolutely love the saw. It doesn't oil quite like I'd like it to, but it's okay. It's going about two thirds of an oil tank per gas fill up. I like it to be one to one. So it's running a little bit lighter than I would like, but it's not bad. And But that was after a couple of modifications. I showed you the one with the bar where I, I kind of drilled out those the oil holes for the chain. Um, what I didn't film was I actually took the saw apart, took the oil pump apart. And then there is a rod. It's, there's a rod that actually spins with a flat spot on it, and that's what pumps the oil, is the flat spot cupping the oil. And I put that on the belt sander and sanded quite a bit of material off there, um, probably 20 thousandths worth, so that there's a bigger flat spot that cups more oil. And now that I did that, it does oil quite a bit better. Um, you have to be pretty mechanically inclined to be able to do that, but the oil pump comes apart super easy. It's just a couple of bolts, a couple of screws, and it goes back together fine. There's minimal parts, so as long as you can keep track of the parts that you take off and put them back together, anybody could do it. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. I apologize. But I'm going to go get the saw. We're going to cut some more of this and then get back to splitting. Uh, one other thing that I forgot to add that I did was I put in a vented oil cap. I didn't think that the factory oil vent was venting well enough because there was always a kind of a suction if you would loosen the cap. So I got this Husqvarna vented oil cap. I will leave a part number down in the description if you're looking for one of them. Uh, they're hard to find. I think Husqvarna discontinued them, so they're kind of limited, but it has made a big difference with the other couple of things I did as far as the bar oil. But we'll get this cut out.
Well, I think that's gonna be all for today. I only got about three minutes worth of battery life left. Mosquitoes are starting to come out. Uh, they're calling for rain tomorrow, but I'm gonna try to get up early before that, and we'll get back after it. And until then, we'll see you next time.